In today's episode, Yandre and Cornell visit CES Freezing Technologies. CES specializes in producing cryogenic freezers, mainly for the food industry. Today, the team will help CES with the assembly of one of their cryogenic freezers. That is, if they don't get kicked out of the plant first. Oh geez, where's it going? Uh, there's a bolt. And it looks like the thread missed here on the first one. Let's get your arm out behind the heavy metal. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad I was here today to, uh, to keep her out of harm's way, because she seemed to want to get in its way quite frequently. Welcome back to American Made. We're visiting CES Technologies. It's a cool morning, but these guys love the cold. That's right. They make cryogenic freezers and other chilling and freezing equipment for restaurants and different things like that. Yeah, let's go inside and meet the crew. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Cornell. Nice to meet you. Hi, Andre. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you guys do here at CES? Well, at CES, we make uh, freezing and cooling equipment, primarily for the food industry, but also for the pharmaceutical and metal treatment industry. We are a global company, but at this location in Cincinnati, Ohio, we primarily manufacture equipment for the North and South American markets. We do all our own engineering, our own fabricating, machining, and service is all done out of this building. Sounds very interesting. Well, we're here to help. All right, great. Let's see what we can start you off at. Sounds yeah. good. The team heads to the shop floor to see exactly where it all starts. For CES, it starts with Mike, who is getting ready to start cutting on the laser. Hi, Mike. This How we is, doing? Uh, Cornell and Yandre, and they're here no, to help nice us to meet out you. today. Great, hey, we'll Mike. take it. Let's start them off on the laser and see what they can do for us. All right. Have a great day, guys. All right, thanks, Johnny. We got to make some more of these parts for production. It's actually a bracket which will hold some injection for some of our liquid nitrogen. To make that assembly we obviously need this part uh, which began its life as a piece of flat stainless steel and then we will laser cut it and we'll bend it uh, to, to give us this final shape. And then after we get this made up we're going to go through and weld a few of these clamps to the back here. Before we get to cut it is I got to finish nesting it in uh, Sigma Nest which is our uh, nesting application that kind of translates this shape so that the laser knows what to do. Uh, so I'm just finishing that up now. To make the part, the team will need to prep the laser machine for cutting. Once the parts are laser cut, they can be taken to the press brake to be formed. Yeah, Andre, can you come over here and give me a hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have some experience with Sigma Nest, the nesting software? Uh, right. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, if you, here, just come on and you hop right in there. Um, so I've got the parts nested. If you can just get it kind of sent over to the laser, which it's just a big fancy cutter. It's a couple hundred grand, no big deal. Uh, and then get it cut and sent over to the press break. Uh, that'd be great. I got to get over here and take care of Cornell, okay? So what in the world are uh, you Oh, geez, I, I think he left me. Okay, well. While Yandre gets comfortable with his new task of programming expensive equipment, Mike goes over to help Cornell load the material onto the laser machine. Wow, I'm excited about this. This is going to be really interesting. I've never run a laser cutting machine before. I don't really know how it's going to be. Yandre and I usually work together, so it'll be a little bit different that we have to work on, on two different processes. So hopefully we do okay. All right, so I'm going to move it that way. Okay, do that. I don't want to cut you in half, though. Okay, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, here it comes. It's coming. I think. Can we, let's rotate it. Yeah, Can we rotate that's it? Probably, that's probably good. Okay. See, I'm an expert. Whoa, geez. All right, where am I aiming? Okay, so we need to get the sheet to rest right here and here against these two stops. And then we'll flip these up and clamp it down and that's what's gonna hold it in. So we're aiming for right there on that edge. After Mike finishes explaining the safety and loading procedure to Cornell, it's up to her to get the material loaded 
so they can start cutting parts. I'm really glad we had uh, Cornell here to help. Now we'll get it here, now let's go down. Let's go down. It is going down. <laughs> I don't want to go too fast. I noticed. Okay, let's go down. I'm going to go a little south there. And I think more so I'm, I'm pretty glad I was there to help her. Then let's go down. See, we want to keep that angle because we're trying to kind of push the material yeah. against that. I'm hitting down. Oh, okay. It's moving. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Oh, okay, there's okay. down. Uh, she had great control with the remote. I don't know, down maybe? You think down? I think it should be down. Oh, geez. Where's it going? But she didn't seem to want to keep her hand too much. She seemed to like to try to get it between the bed. Let's get that hand out. Okay, okay. Let's get your arm out behind the heavy metal. You don't like that there? Let's go down. Okay. It's down. Woohoo! I'm really glad I was here today to, uh, to keep her out of harm's way because she seemed to want to get in its way quite frequently. Yeah, perfect. I got it. Exactly. Like that. All right, I'm really excited that it's Sigma Nest on shop floor here. Uh, I love Sigma Nest. I'm a little bit rusty, so I haven't done this in a while. We'll have to see if I can get this program out to the laser. And then I'll be the one operating the press brake, which I have never used before. But I'm really excited about it. Well, Mike has tasked me with this important task. Uh, don't break the machine. He's over there helping Cornell at the moment and has a lot of confidence in me, so that's good. All right, I've applied the NC. I think I just need to post it. Let me simulate it first, just to make sure I don't crash something. Yeah, it looks good. Let's post. Well, how are we doing over here? Uh, good, I think we're all set. I posted it, and there's our program. Yeah, you got it sent over there? Yeah, I think yeah, that's ours. Okay, well, we'll see. Now for the moment of truth. With the laser program by Yandre and the material loaded by Cornell, it's time to start cutting parts. Once the parts are finished, they will be sent over to the press break. All right, so while this is cutting the parts out, uh, Yandre, you want to go over and meet up with Tony, or, and he'll get you set up on the press break and yeah. get you all set up over there. And we will make sure the laser works. All right. Hey, thank you for watching. American Made is brought to you by Sigma Nest Software. Nest at the best. If you want your shop to feature in one of our episodes, click on the link below in the description. And if you want to make sure you don't miss an episode, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Perfect. Nailed it. That's what I like, really cheesed up at the end. That's like fine. this. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs>